Hey y'all, welcome to our apartment touring video. We just moved to Austin, Texas, and we've never been to the city before, so it's crazy to us, and it's probably crazy to a lot of you who are watching this video. We had a lot of preconceived ideas about apartments here and just living here, and I feel like- More like fantasies. I think we kind of like romanticized what it would be like to live here. Yeah. Not really what we thought it would actually be like. We definitely thought it was gonna be a lot cheaper to live here, mm. and it is so not cheap to live here, unfortunately. We also are from Atlanta, to give you. Yeah. If you're from like California, you probably are gonna laugh at us when we tell you the prices and That's stuff. That's true. But we're from Atlanta, so based on that, maybe like people in Nashville or like South Carolina and definitely understand how cheap it is to live. Mm -hmm. So um, we want to kind of go through each place that we toured, kind of give you guys the square footage, the price, um, and our pros and cons of everywhere we looked at. So let's get started. Her old boss actually recommended that we use a realtor that she mm -hmm. knew from, I guess, just connections mm -hmm. and throughout her network, and who actually lives in Austin, has lived here for a long time. So we got in contact with her. Her name was Ashley, and she was like awesome. Worked really hard for us. Mm -hmm. And she set up a portal, in a sense, for us so we could go online and look at the listing that she has added to the website, mm -hmm. like the picture, square foot, pricing, neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, there's something about that, the actual address, so I can map it to work to see how far it was. Mm -hmm. um, she was really helpful in the search and just kind of understanding the areas of Austin, where I wanted to live, like why it'd be a good idea versus a bad idea. She was kind of a good, like, kind of like a liaison because I'd never, we'd never been to Austin, so we kind of had her as a resource to understand what Austin was like before we moved and just for advice and tips. When my old boss advised me to use a realtor, I kind of got scared at first because I didn't know that you actually don't pay them. Like, you... Well, I think we used, like, she's an actual realtor. Uh -huh. I think we used her as a locator service, not as a realtor. Oh. I don't know. Well, okay, maybe it's different for house buying, but for apartments, they usually just get a referral fee from the apartment. So, you don't really have to pay them, I guess, is what I've learned. Um, so... That was nice because she was a really big help and we didn't really have to take that out of our budget. Maybe for anyone watching this who's trying to, maybe got a job at Oracle and is trying to see where they should live when they come here or for people who are working at VMware or any of the big kind of tech firms in Austin, um, I guess if you guys ask us or we can put it in the description for Ashley's contact, she's really helpful. So maybe we can yeah. get you guys connected. I think she'd appreciate that too. Yeah, for sure. We'll do that. But the main thing with Ashley is that she mostly put houses on there or yeah. townhouses and we were open to that and for apartments mm -hmm. and we didn't really realize how much we'd want an apartment until we got here right. and kind of saw what the houses were like. They're a lot different from Georgia for the price. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of played into a factor when we were deciding where to live. Right. One thing I did want to kind of let you guys know is that there are false advertisements on Facebook especially. Like we were going through not the portal sometimes like we wanted to see what else was outside of the portal because not everything was going through her portal um so we would find stuff on facebook we would find stuff on apartments.com and then send it to her and unfortunately they advertise the price as something totally different and way cheaper we were like oh my god this is amazing like totally under our price limit and then she called them which was also nice having her because she was able to like you know know her words and yeah, know she how knew, to yeah, what she's go talking about, it. about so um then she called them and it was a lot more expensive so just a heads up please don't get your hopes up on facebook advertisements especially for like apartments it might say like this apartment is 1500 but it's probably like only the first month and then it bumps up to like 2000 so it's something so stupid like or that but put it on apartments.com and then when you get there, they're like, oh, that was a special we were running. Yeah. And it's like, okay, we'll win. You know, they, they don't actually. They change the prices every day, depending on, like, obviously the supply and demand. Like, who's coming in? Are we getting more people? And plus, the Oracle classes are now coming in. So it's June, July, and August classes. And what are they, like, 100 people? I think 100. I, I've heard up to 300 for a class. So just imagine 300 people finding apartments in this same area trying at to the same like, yeah, time. Five mile radius of Oracle. So to... they're definitely hiking up their prices because they know that people need apartments close to Oracle. So mm. unfortunately we maybe didn't come at the right time, but again, we we're just trying to share our experience with y'all and 
Let's get into the actual apartment touring right now. I do actually. It's um, I have everything here in front of okay. me. So perfect. It's 1440. Um, if you have like a first floor, they might have a little bit of a little fencing area. Yes. Yeah. Down. The closer you get down, down, that's a little less yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So even if you did have an apartment, and it looks like a new AC unit, that's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna see if there's anything. And then, so the first place we actually toured was a duplex mm -hmm. and a duplex is a, a house that's connected to a house just like by a wall mm -hmm. two separate doors two separate kind of identical everything right and both units were open in this instance so mm -hmm. like we had the left one toured and we could tour the right one to see if we liked the layout flipped or not mm -hmm. and we just start with the left one because kind of just imagine in our mind what it would look like flipped so I'm kind of glad we started with this one because it was kind of a letdown. Kind of opened your eyes to like what Austin was like, kind of what we're looking at price range. So on our notes, it says this place was 1440 square feet, but I feel like that does not sound right because it looked so small. So it could be just like the whole square footage of the whole duplex. I feel like that sounds more right because these bedrooms were so tiny. I was a little taken back because I was scared that it was going to be like this everywhere I went. And it, it kind of was, I mean, some of the apartments we did tour were small like this, um, but the living room was just not very bright. I feel like the windows were as small as my hand. I mean, the kitchen was really nice. Like I said, everything was newly renovated, but it just was really, really small. It didn't have a washer and dryer, so we would have to buy one or rent one or something like that. So that's inconvenient. So it did have a gated backyard mm -hmm. and they would do the maintenance, isn't like, cutting the grass, the mm -hmm. front yard, keeping it maintained for me. Mm -hmm. So that would keep down on cost a lot, but apartments do that anyway. We do have a dog coming in July. Sophie's gonna join us in Austin. Giving birth in July to her. <laughs> yeah, so we're super excited about that because she's gonna freaking love it here. Like, this is such a dog city. We've already People bring their dogs to heard. HEB, yeah. Like. Yeah, so it'll be really fun having her here. Um, so we did have to keep that in mind when we were looking at apartments. We need to find out the pet fee, pet rent, like yards, dog parks, dog wash stations, all that stuff. There's no like neighborhood amenities. Yeah. So there's no clubhouse, no pool, no Gym. like, yeah, like all that have to be bought outside of the neighborhood. Right. So we'd have to go somewhere to do all this stuff. It would cost a lot more money. Mm -hmm. So, and the rent for this one, I think was 1400 or somewhere around that. So it was definitely under our budget. Our budget was fifteen hundred. Um, we went a little bit overboard because, you know, after the fact of touring all these places, we realized that we had to raise it. Yeah, <laughs> we, we had to really, because yeah. the location was just so important to us to be close to Oracle and to be a little close to downtown um, and to not be in like the most sketchy area of Austin. So we had to raise our price, unfortunately. And you guys are probably gonna think we're crazy for like paying what we pay when you guys find out but per I feel person, like it's worth it. Yeah, you know, you'll it's not a lot until you break it down per person. Yeah. And then you see like it's kinda of average. That's true. Yeah. 
the next one we toured was a luxury apartment and this was actually one of the ones that I think I found on Facebook or something like mm -hmm. that and I was really interested in it this is also one of those that had the false advertisement because they were way more expensive in person um, and it's funny because I wrote this down on my notes but the lady was kind of not very nice and I feel like that's kind of important when you're touring places you need to like have a good first impression with the management because you're going to be dealing with them while living in your space. So I wrote that down because, I don't know, I just like did not really appreciate the way she was like treating us. And she um, was like the assistant manager too, so you know yeah. like if she's not being nice then... Yeah, it was just a little odd, especially I'm if I'm going to give you my money, like please be a little nicer than that. Um, this was also after waiting probably 45 minutes just a tour. Plus. Yeah, I really liked this place. And I knew in my heart I could absolutely not afford it. So we did tour only the one bedroom because that was something that we could afford. I loved the kitchen in here. This is like exactly what I wanted for my kitchen, like white or just like a bright kitchen. Um, it was, I think we did tour it on like kind of a cloudy day. So the lighting wasn't as great, but I think it did definitely have potential in natural lighting. And that was something that was so important that I told every person that I toured with, I need a good natural light just because not only for, you know, filming YouTube videos, taking photos, but also like it affects my mood so much if I don't have natural light. I already went through that, don't wanna go back there. Um, so that was definitely very important for me. It also had a little nook for like a desk, but we did bring two desks here. And if we did get a one bedroom, we would have to get rid of so much stuff. And like even being in the apartment that we are in now, I don't wanna to give too much away. I just feel like I thought this would be a lot of storage, but you know, we have a lot of shit. So she has a lot of shit. You have a lot of shit. <laughs> I don't know if I'm remembering this correctly, but I don't think this place had a balcony. Hmm, interesting. So that would just be like one item off the list that right. I don't need, but it'd be nice to have. So. I mean, like a paint extra or something that doesn't have a balcony. Mm -hmm. This place did have a really nice gym and a pretty nice pool. A few study had like rooms, yeah. all the amenities um, that were really nice. I mean, again, it was a luxury apartment uh, and you would be paying for that. Yeah. So one of the nice things about this place was that it was really close to Oracle. Mm -hmm. I could probably walk if it was like winter, mm. but it was close enough to walk so I could drive there, bike there, whatever I need to do, yeah. bird scooter, something like that to work, save a lot of time and money. Overall, this apartment was beautiful. Um, I didn't really like the people there. It was really close to Oracle, but it was a little bit out of our price limit or just like we didn't really love the one bedroom. So, you know, we didn't really love it. Uh, we do not charge for any part of it. We also did some new lighting. <clears throat> yeah, oh yeah. I feel like the bed is so much bigger. Yeah. Is it just me? <laughs> oh my god. Why is why does it feel that much bigger? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good lighting. Yes. <laughs> wow. This place needs to be another one. Right? Oh my god. Um, level wise, I don't. We definitely use Dorcher for rules, especially on Saturday and Sunday.
moving closet too. Mm -hmm. into a computer conference in um, small office. The gym is just going to get um, a paint. Um, the third place is right next to Oracle. It's Same parking lot, like super good walk close. to it, easy. Yes, very, very close. And I really, really liked this place. He was actually the one that found this on a Facebook ad, I think. Um, again, false advertisement, yada, yada, yada. Um, but this place was, you know, somewhat close to our budget. And I think this is when we kind of realized, okay, we do need to bump up our budget mm -hmm. because it was like a nice place, like, you know, maybe like a little bit more affordable than the last luxury apartment. Um, but yeah, it was super close to Oracle and it was just kind of like a no brainer. So we did tour three units in this place. So the first one we toured was a two bedroom, one bath, I think. Second was a one bed, one bath. Third was a one bed, one bath, but just a different like layout, which was kind of weird. I don't know, we didn't really love that one. This place really, really got me with their amenities because they had like free workout classes. They had like, they were gonna build a spin studio, which I don't even know if I like spin, but I don't know. I feel like that really sold me because it would be nice to have all that stuff in your apartment, just walk downstairs, walk back up and shower. So I really wanted this place just because of the gym and the pool was probably the nicest that we've seen. The kitchen was a little bit darker. They didn't have the white cabinets that I love. They did have the brown cabinets, but they do have hardwood floors. And I mean, the bathrooms were really nice too. They had mm. two sinks, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, I did feel like this place was, you know, not super spacious. So we would probably have to get the two bedroom in here. Or like um, get rid of a lot. Yeah. So it's doable. I, don't, I wouldn't want to do it, but we can make it work. Yeah. Um, so we were really considering the one bedroom and I was like, please don't make me do it. Please don't make me do it. Cause it was like right at our price um, limit, like 1500, I think around that. So what I liked about this place the most was obviously the location. It was so convenient for me. I wouldn't have to drive my car ever. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you know, I liked how, I guess the parking was gated, just kind of felt Same. newer, cleaner. I wouldn't even say safe, like the the leasing agent was telling us how like you lease up in your car, it's going to get broken into. If you like lease up in your balcony, it's going to get stolen. People go through and jingle door handles try to break in. And I'm like, you could just not tell me this stuff. I'd be more happy, you know? Yeah. I think overall, I just kind of liked the fact that she liked it and could finally like decide on something. Mm -hmm. Like if you guys knew where I, I kind of grew up, like I, I don't care. Like I'll sleep on the floor, like in my car. Like I, I just don't have a preference. If there's a bed, I'll sleep in it. So like I liked it. It felt nice. The pool was a nice view. Mm -hmm. Like the parking felt, yeah. was a little bit weird because you would have to like walk up like mm -hmm. random stairs. Like your apartment could be here and your like garage or like the parking garage could be like way back there. So you would have to walk up stairs and walk like down. You know you can park like right in front of your apartment. This is one of the places that kind of gave you that facade at the beginning that they liked you a lot, no pressure sales. Mm -hmm. But when it came down to signing time, they were like pushy, a little rude, kind of like yeah. cold shoulder. If you didn't want to sign with them, like weren't necessarily willing to work with you like they said they were. I don't want to give away too much because I want to leave that for the empty apartment tour, but you can comment which one you guys think we got or which one you guys loved the most. I want to see what y'all think about these places and like the price range or like whatever. So just comment down your fave in the comments below. This is the one. Okay. That was big. Ooh. Um, I think I'm sold. Except for this carpet, yeah, I don't like it. But you gotta okay. give and take, I guess. What? That I assume is an office. Oh, how cute. Oh, Lord. No way. 
I mean, it's kind of dark in here, but I don't want to ruin it. You can change yeah. the light. Do you have two? Are you sure it's a three bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> two bedroom? It's so big. Yeah. And this is nice. Oh, that is nice. Oh my god, two closets for Wait, one bedroom? What? Was there a closet? Wait, did I not? The study we can call it a bedroom because it's This view is pretty excluded. Like this way, I'll make this trail. This is nice. Cool. Yeah. Just cool stuff. Well, I mean, this is actually maybe gone. Remember? Nice. Holy crap. Wow. This is humongous. Holy. This is like a whole other bedroom. This is like two apartments. Master is on your left, guest bedroom is on your right. Oh no. Just, just double balcony. Oh my god. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, this closet. Yeah, this shower. Where this smart footage for $6.99 or $7.99. And you were just talking about it's a the shower. What the heck? Wait, how? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> There's two showers in the same bathroom. This is insane. Yeah, that's why it has the upcharge. If for some reason you don't, then we can lower the price. But it should have oh, a rising view. We're asking to see the judges. Yeah, the balcony is huge. Walk-in closet. Closet to a bathroom. Oh my god. Another two sink. Do you want to put grills on here? It's pretty small. Um, but we are going to move the cooler thing in next year. So the last place we toured, we started off touring a one bedroom and a study. Is with a study. They, huh? With a study. That's what they said. Um, so this was really interesting because I liked how they had like a little office area because that is one of the main reasons I wanted a two bedroom. I mean, also to have guests, but like we could just, you know, blow up an air mattress and kind yeah, of use or that. Couch or something, yeah. mm -hmm. So that was really, really nice. I honestly loved this apartment. When I first walked in, I really liked the kitchen, but they did have carpet on the floors, which I did not love because my dog is, you know, a peer and <laughs> she does like to pee on carpet. It definitely wouldn't be the easiest just to like walk her down every second to just pee. Um, so that was kind of annoying that they had carpets, but they did say that we could like um, pay $40 yeah. a month if we did um, hardwood because I think they're trying to change all the carpets to hardwood. So if you paid $40 extra a month, you could get hardwood. Um, so we were strongly considering that. But then again, like, I feel like carpet's kind of cozy. So this had one of the best kitchens also. It was white and mm -hmm. just had a good feel to it. Definitely bright mm -hmm. and, like, welcoming. Yeah. The bedroom was a good size Definitely overall. compared to, like, all the other things we've seen. Yeah, and the bathroom had the two sinks, which was a big thing for me. I, like, I love to have my own space. Yeah. And it checked out like, all the boxes, basically. It had that study. It could mm -hmm. be an office, like, bedroom, makeshift kind of area. Yeah. Just be whatever it needed to be at the time. Mm -hmm. So the next unit we saw was a two bedroom, two bath. And I really liked this layout. It was very interesting to me because basically the kitchen is in the middle and the guest room is on one side. The master bedroom is on the other side. Um, both of the bathrooms had two sinks. So the master bathroom had two sinks, which of course checks our boxes. Um, and then they also had a stand and shower, which we haven't seen. All the other showers game were, changer, you know, yeah. yeah, definitely a game changer. Um, all the other showers were just, you know, you'd hang up your own curtain. Um, and then this one also had a bath in it, like a full bath. So that's really cool. I mean, I don't really take baths that often, but I was thinking maybe I will if I get this place. Um, so that was really cool. Um, the guest bathroom had just the bathtub with a shower in it. Um, two sinks as well. The master bath does take away from the master closet, mm -hmm. so you lose a little room in the closet. Yeah. But the guest bedroom has a like Huge almost closet. matching closet, the same size as the room. It's huge, like yeah. really giant. 
Yeah, but that that means the guest ba- bedroom was a little bit smaller. Right. So, I mean, whatever. You have to give and take a little bit. Mm. Um, but... She was, like, almost ready to sign this lease on this one until she found out we toured, like, the, the clubhouse. And that's when stuff started, like, a little bit fall apart. Yeah. She was like, you know, this uh, gym will be closed for remodeling. Mm-hmm. This pool is closed indefinitely for the summer. Yeah. We don't know when it's going to be ready. I didn't love that, especially because we didn't know exact dates. Austin does have a bunch of places to swim, like Barton Springs and... You know, a bunch of like yeah. every river. A lot lake, of like everything. bodies of water, but you know, when you just want to like go to the pool because you're hot, like that's nice to have. So the amenities did really bring this down on my list. Unfortunately, this apartment was not super close to Oracle. It was 1.7 miles away, which isn't horrible, but the other apartments were literally so freaking like, close. You could like throw Sophia Ball to Oracle and she could run and get it. Yeah, and plus, if it's not super close to Oracle, then it's going to be further away from downtown, which, I don't know, I feel like we're going to probably hang out there a lot, you know, get dinner some nights, so we wanted to be, like, a good distance away for and not have to drive crazy amounts of traffic because we've heard some bad, bad stories about Austin traffic. Yeah, horror stories. This last apartment was definitely our second choice because of the amenities and the location, but it was in a really safe area and I feel like very quiet too. Plus these apartments were actually condos, so it wasn't like a big huge building mm. filled with like people in these small tiny apartments. There's basically like four apartments or condos on each floor, so with soundproof like walls, so it's quiet everywhere. Did they say that? Mm. Oh. All kind of thing, be sample. Oh, so that is it of our apartment touring. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was very informational, and I hope this video helped anyone who's looking to move to Austin, Texas. It was definitely very stressful, this whole apartment touring situation. You'll see my next vlog about my whole application drama and all of that. It'll be coming very soon after this. It was a time-sensitive move since we had an Airbnb. We didn't want to pay more of our rent money toward an Airbnb cost mm-hmm. if we could apply it toward our rent. Right. So really wanted to find someone with immediate move in and just get the ball rolling. Yeah. So it was, it was a very stressful situation. So you only had a certain amount of time to tour in a day. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, well, if I don't sign now, I may lose it. Right. So you go home and you think about it. Like, do I like it enough to sign it? Should I go back? Like, you, yeah. don't, you don't know what to do. So it's just stressful to like allocate make your time, decision. resources, everything to make the right decision. Yeah. Yeah. Remember to comment which one was your favorite apartment and which one you think we are in right now. And feel free to reach out about any questions about moving to Austin. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want to kind of get going to Oracle, if you have questions about that, um, I'd love to answer stuff like that for you guys. Mm-hmm. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!